the VSEPR model, and the five basic molecular geometries. Okay, so remember, we started talking about the origin of molecular shape. And it comes from these electron-electron repulsions that cause the atoms around the central atom to move as far apart as possible. And so in the last video, we learned how to count the number of electron domains, and we called that the steric number. And so remember, it's the number of bonded atoms and lone pairs around the central atom. Now, after you determine those, then we're going to find out that molecules have a characteristic shape that depends on the steric number for the central atom. We can organize all of these molecular geometries into groups based on steric number. And so for each steric number, there's going to be something called a basic geometry. And that basic geometry is going to be the one that is produced when all of the electron domains are bonded atoms. So in other words, there's no lone pairs on the central atom. And then as we add uh, lone pairs in place of bonded atoms, we're going to get different geometries, but they are going to be based each on the basic geometry for that steric number. So I'm going to show a table in just a few minutes that's going to summarize all of that. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to substitute lone pairs for bonded atoms on the central atom, and the molecule shape is going to change. Now, one thing to keep in mind also is that the name of the shape, the name of the geometry for that molecule, is going to depend on the positions of the bonded atoms, not lone pairs. So we're going to pretend that we can't quote unquote see those, okay? So we're going to name the shape based on actual bonded atoms. Okay, so here are our basic geometries. So for steric number two, we have linear. For steric number three, we have trigonal planar. Tetrahedral for steric number four. Trigonal bipyramid for steric number five. And finally, octahedral for steric number six. So we're going to talk about all of those. In the next presentation, we're going to talk about the first three, linear, trigonal planar, and tetrahedral. And then there will be a separate presentation about uh, trigonal bipyramid and octahedral in later presentations. Okay, so here's our table of geometries. And so notice the first column is the steric number. So we have two through six, all right? And then look, so here's that central atom, and two things are attached. So that's our steric number, okay? And notice that there's only one geometry for steric number two. Okay, and it is the basic geometry. Okay, so with no lone pairs, all of these are the basic geometry for a given steric number. Okay, so for steric number three, trigonal planar, that's the basic geometry, the one that is produced when there are no lone pairs on the central atom. Tetrahedral for the steric number four. Now notice, see this wedge? That means that that atom is coming out of the screen and that one's going behind the screen. And these other two are in the plane, okay? And this bond angle is 109, or you could say 109.5. Next, we have the trigonal bipyramid, which again is going to demand its own presentation along with octahedral. And so we'll talk about those basic geometries and all of their derivatives in much more detail later on. But for now, let's go ahead and just look at each one of these basic geometries in turn. Okay, so for steric number two, we have two electron domains. That's how we know it's steric number two, and both of them are going to be bonded atoms. There are no other choices on this one. And it is a linear shape. And so bonded atoms are going to move as far apart as possible, and there's going to be a bond angle of 180 degrees. So here's our bond angle. All right, for steric number three, we have three electron domains. So you can see that there are three atoms bonded. This is the trigonal planar basic geometry. And all these bond angles are 120 degrees. So you can see that this the, they're pointing 120 degrees away from each other. And that's as far as they can get apart from each other. We have 360 degrees to work with, and they divide it equally, and each get 120 degrees away from each other. And that minimizes the repulsions the best that it possibly can. 
And again, this basic molecular shape is trigonal planar. Our next one is tetrahedral. And again, see this atom is coming out of the screen. That one's going behind the screen, and these two are in the plane. Okay? And so we have four electron domains, so four bonded atoms in this basic geometry. And in order to minimize repulsions, all these guys are about 109 degrees apart. And we call this shape tetrahedral. Okay, so it's a 3D shape. So it's not planar like trigonal planar. It doesn't all lie in a plane. This guy is tetrahedral. And so we have to show that geometry with wedges and hashes to show that that atom's going back and this one's coming forward. Steric number five. Now notice there's an apparent expansion of the octet, okay? And here we have equatorial, like I say, we'll talk a lot more about this, but equatorial positions in, this one's in the plane, okay? The plane of the screen. This one's going behind the screen. This one's coming out. And these two are basically straight up and down in the plane of the screen. And so there are two different bond angles for the trigonal bipyramid basic geometry. By the way, this should say trigonal bipyramid. Okay, so I messed that up. But basically we have two different positions, two different bond angles, 120 degrees, 90 degrees between the axial and the equatorial positions, and then equatorial positions are 120 degrees away from each other. And again, we'll talk much more about this later on. And just to remind you, we are also going to talk about the simplified Bentz rule in a lot more detail and learn how to use it for this particular purpose. Like I say, there's a lot more to it than this, but it's a little bit that we can use to figure out where to put atoms and where to put lone pairs in the structure. Okay, and then finally, octahedral geometry. So that's for steric number six. And there are six electron domains. And also notice that there's an apparent expansion of the octet. These two bonded atoms are coming out at you. These two are going behind the plane with hash marks. Okay, so behind the plane of the screen, pointing back. These guys are in the plane. And all these bond angles, doesn't matter where it is in here, all of them are 90 degrees. And that's the basic molecular shape octahedral. Okay, so now we're going to talk about steric numbers 2 through 4 in part 3. And we'll talk about each one of those, and we're going to be substituting lone pairs on the central atom and basically learning how to use this VSEPR model to draw geometries for real molecules.